right, before I start this video, I just want to apologise about the rain. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's coming down pretty heavy. So, sorry about that. Um, but this, yeah, this video is going to be um, just a random haul video. Like, it's not specific to clothing or makeup or whatever. It's just a few things that I've picked up recently. Yeah, so let's get started. Right, um, oh, actually, as well, it was my birthday last week. So I have a few things that I want to show you that I got for my birthday. Something that my sister bought me for my birthday was these shorts. They're like pleather or PU leather or whatever they call them. Basically like they're not real leather. But I think they're so cute. They're from Forever 21. 21. Um, and I don't know if you can see, they've kind of got like that crisscrossy sort of pattern on them. They, they look really tiny, they, like when my sister gave them to me I was like, are they hot pants? But I tried them on and they don't look too bad, like I think in the winter you can just wear them with tights and boots and like a jumper and they're gonna look super cute. Um, so I really like them, I haven't worn them yet because my birthday was like less than a week ago so give me a I was in Tesco, would you believe, doing my uh, food shopping and I needed to get some cards so my Tesco's is like a superstore so it's got the clothes and the cards and the non-food stuff upstairs so I went upstairs and as I was coming up the escalator past the clothes I saw these hanging up and they're like you know those waxy kind of finish jeans they're skinny and they're waxy finish and they're burgundy and I just think they're so cool. It was during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend thing. Um, so Tesco were actually doing like 25% off their clothes I think. I didn't actually realise this. I saw them and they were £18. And then when I got to the till I got them for like £13.50 or something. I don't know, I'm not very good at maths. But even for £18, like I was willing to pay £18. I just think they're so good and yeah they're just they're really nice they fit quite well they are a bit high waisted but I mean I generally wear like longer tops anyway so it's fine I, I actually wore these on my birthday yeah next item of clothing is um, another kind of similar sort of thing to what I just showed you it's these leggings from H&M and they're not from afar they look like leather and then you kind of think, oh, maybe they're that waxy kind of finish, but they're neither really. Quite stretchy. And, yeah, they're kind of, like, shiny. I don't know if you can really see that. I don't know. But, yeah, they're kind of shiny effect. But they do kind of look like wet... They, yeah, they kind of look like wet look leggings or, like, leather pants. And they're really comfortable. They... I think I got them, like, a size smaller so that they would fit tighter um, and I think they were like 12 99 so yeah I was really pleased with that definitely gonna get lots of wear out of them because I mean they're just like black skinny jean type things you can spray them with everything the next item of clothing that I've got is a dress that I bought um, about maybe even two months ago now six weeks I really ago. love it and so I was like I need to save it for like a special occasion and then because my birthday was coming up, I was like, oh, I'll just save it for when I go out for my birthday. So it's this dress. And you've probably seen, if you saw the pictures of um, Lucy Mecklenburg um, when she was in Marbella. She had this dress on. Um, and it's just really cute. I just love it. I think the one she had was from free floor fashion and it was like a hundred and something pound like 160 70 pound or something and then I saw this which I'm guessing is kind of a copy but it's a pretty good copy um, and I saw it on a website called Ruby Sky London for like 45 pound like a hell of a lot cheaper and it's it just looks just as nice um, I don't think I have any pictures of me wearing it on my Instagram you may have seen the picture of me in Millie McIntosh because she was out on my birthday and I managed to get a picture of her because she's my idol and I was wearing this dress but you can't really see it properly but anyway I love this dress and I like Lucy wore it in my bayer obviously in the summer just with no tights um heels whereas I wore it 
because obviously it's only the other weekend, it was cold, it was London, and um, I just wore it with black tights, and it was fine, it looked fine. Right, the last item of clothing that I've got is um, something else that I saw Millie McIntosh wearing, um, and it's a fur, black fur snood, and it's so soft and cosy and warm, and it looks like, it reminds me of my little rabbit, Coco, and um, it's literally just like circular, you just, there's no sort of like tying it up, you literally just put it over your head like that and you can just kind of ruffle it and I mean it looks nice just wearing it like this with a top or you can wear it with like a blazer, you can wear it with a leather jacket, you can wear it with a coat, like there's so many ways of wearing this and I think it just makes your outfit look a bit more fancy and it keeps you really warm, like it is actually really warm because I had it on, I wore it on my birthday when I went shopping and I had my hair in a bun like this, although it was nice hair, it wasn't ranked like this at the moment. Um, and yeah, I was sitting in the restaurant and I was like, oh my God, I'm so hot. But I couldn't take it off because obviously you pull it off, you're gonna mess your hair up. Obviously I'm not really fussed now, but when I was out, I was like, oh. <laughs> I was getting really hot, but that's what I mean, it's so warm. Oh yeah, and it's from Next, sorry, I didn't say that. It's from Next and I think it was 12 pound and it also came in beige and gray and like a leopard. But Millie had the black one, so I wanted the black one. Okay. I saw these boots. Yeah. And they're basically like um, Chelsea boots with a wedge and they're suede. And these are the grey ones, they also came in black. The black, like, sold, well, I'm guessing sold out really quick because they only had, like, one pair left. But I didn't want the black anyway, I wanted the grey. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy that I got these. And these were £15, and they're really comfortable. Bought them on my birthday, um, walking around Blue Water Shopping Centre for hours. And, yeah, they didn't hurt me at all. So, I'm really loving them. Um, and yeah, on that day as well, I actually ended up buying three pairs of boots, but they're all relatively cheap, so it's fine. The next thing that I got was, um, so now that I've got my hair extensions, I don't think I've done a video properly with my hair extensions down, but I'm going to do another video, like a hair um, tutorial with this wand that I bought. So I wanted to get like a thicker wand for doing my hair, so I bought, I wanted a 32mm one. And I already had the Remington Pro, um, Pro Curl, you know, the conical wand. I don't know, I think I'm getting confused now. But I already had the conical one, so I wanted just the thick, this one basically, the 32mm one. Because it's going to create like bigger, looser curls, and that's what I like. Especially where my hair is so long now, I need like 
it's better to have looser curls and if it had tight curls they just wouldn't hold anyway. So I got this um, and I think it was half price in boots. I think it was like um, £35 originally. No, maybe it was like £30 originally or something like that and then it was it was like half price for like £15. Um, and it's really good. I used it two weekends ago when I was in Liverpool. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the photo that I posted of me in the peachy pinky dress and I've got all my hair curled and that this is what I use to create that look. So I'm going to do a tutorial on it so you'll see it a bit more in depth. Then, the next thing that I bought, which I'm really excited about, um, which is a bit naughty of me, actually, and if you read my blog, you'll probably know what it is, and it's this. Yeah. It's an Aspinall of London bag, and it is the Marlebone tote. It's the one that Millie McIntosh has got, obviously. And I have wanted it for quite a while and I kind of was like, I'll save up and buy it like next year or something. And then when they had that Black Friday thing, it was like 20% off and I was like, you'd never get 20% off like a classic bag like this. It just doesn't happen. Like these bags normally increase in price over the years. Um, so I was like, I've got to get it. So I got it and yeah, I'm loving it. I've used it like every day. It's an investment. It's fine. Um, but, because it was then my birthday, my mum surprised me with a really nice present from Aspinall. And it was the makeup bag to match my handbag. So I thought that was really nice because obviously I am really into my makeup and I've asked for quite a lot of makeup for Christmas this year. So I think mum kind of thought, well get her a nice makeup bag to go with her nice bag and it's really nice it's all like purple soft leather inside and this inside bit actually pops out so that you can wash it because at first I was like suede isn't really the best thing to put inside a makeup bag because it's just going to get marked but you can take it out and clean it um, and it also comes with like a little mirror hey um, yeah so it comes with a little mirror inside as well which I thought was really handy um, and that's it really, that's my haul, that's a few things that I've bought over the past few weeks, maybe month, um, because I have been trying to buy Christmas presents and not stuff just for myself. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter or 
check out my blog. I will put the links down below. Thanks for watching.